Hi, Raleigh. I'm Jason Broughton, Global Vice President of UX and proud member of the Raleigh site. Hi, I'm Philippe Poignot. I'm Steve Eddings, the VP and Chief Technology Officer for the Legal Business Solutions Organization. Hi, I'm Scott Wallingford, Vice President and General Manager of Legal Business Solutions, the software guys at LexisNexis. Over the past decades, outside and inside LexisNexis, I had lots of opportunity to see how inclusion and diversity can be a challenge, but also a major opportunity for modern societies and companies. A diverse employee base contributes different skills and talents to make us a much more effective team and really helping us build great products and serve our clients. So together we can tackle new challenges with increasingly innovative ways, uh, leveraging the full set of capabilities and perspectives that come from a diverse team. So as a team, we will make better decisions as a result of having the broadest, most diverse set of skills that help us solve new challenges in new ways. Inclusion and diversity is very personal to me. I came to this country over 25 years ago, and I was very fortunate to be around people that never made me feel like an outsider. I was also very fortunate that the companies that I worked for, the teams I was part of, my managers, all supported me, and I always felt that I had a voice. Unfortunately, that's not the case for a lot of individuals. I want to make sure that these individuals are supported, just like I was supported. And not only do they have a voice, but they celebrate their differences. As an individual who moved to the United States, an adult, I've experienced what it feels when I'm included and how exclusion hurts. My personal philosophy is simple. You create and live the change that you want to see. Um, it's sort of a rite of passage when our organization comes together to reflect, to share, and inspire each other to reinforce our commitment uh, to the strength of our people. When I think about inclusion and diversity, I think about all the different people that I meet every day all around me. You know, we all come from different places, we think differently, we approach problems differently, we have different views, all sorts of different ideas. And we need to be able to, to harness those differences, respect what they represent, and build an environment where people feel like they can belong and deliver the outcomes that our customers expect from us. For the UX team, inclusion and diversity is critical because a lot of our customers around the world and in the US come from diverse backgrounds and it's important for us to understand their context. We spend a lot of time within our own team trying to understand our own biases, as well as uh, embracing continuing education. In this regard, it's been critical for each of us to hold um, not only ourselves, but others around us accountable. In order to promote inclusion within the Legal Business Solutions team, we ensure everyone feels they have a voice on critical topics. In many cases, strong personalities can overpower a conversation by giving everyone a turn to talk or provide input, promote listening over speaking, uh, I feel we get the best outcomes. People feel more committed to a decision they feel a part of. While not everyone's idea or recommendation may be selected, having more choices on the table for the conversation usually results in a better outcome as well. Leadership is the ability to inspire and reinforce what is already inherent in each of us. My communication style is to listen more to understand each individual's motivation, to ask questions, and be authentic. When I see microaggressions on my team, I address those immediately with respect and candor. When anyone on my team is trying to run on fumes, remind them to pause and refocus on self-care. I'm really looking forward to this conference as it addresses one of my top priorities, and that's building self-awareness. We all need to understand better how we think and how we act and how that affects the people around us. This conference will go a long way towards furthering that goal, so I really encourage everyone to participate fully and get as much as possible out of this experience. I believe we are at a tipping point in human history with a strong dynamic of change in this area. This conference is a great opportunity for all of us to have an impact in this journey here in Raleigh. To me, this journey starts with recognizing that, first, 
this is an area where we have to improve. Second, we can actually change things by contributing individually. I'm personally thrilled to join and contribute to the conference. I see that as a unique opportunity to reinforce the dynamic on these matters and scale it all across our organizations. You also have to recognize that you cannot individually know and solve for everything. As a team, we're part of this mosaic that comes together to create magic. Um, and real leaders are ordinary people with extraordinary determination to be inclusive and to be authentic. Personally, I'm really looking forward to this conference as I'm eager to learn more about inclusion and diversity issues and how they affect me and my teams. I'm also very uh, eager to learn about more tools and techniques that we can deploy to create a more inclusive environment. You know, it's an important opportunity for us to come together and have this conversation as a, as a site community. And through these conversations, I'm confident that we'll grow and learn as a community and get better over time. And so I'm hopeful, I'm happy, and together, together, together we emerge. Hello, I'm Jeff Pfeiffer, and I'm excited to welcome you to Emerge Raleigh, a first of its kind conference designed to explore ideas around inclusion and diversity for our site in Raleigh. You know, I reflect back almost two years ago, we intentionally started looking at these topics around inclusion, diversity, and culture. And what did we hear from our team members? We heard things like, I want an opportunity to be my authentic self at work every single day. I want an opportunity to grow and develop my career so that I can achieve my personal best outcomes. And finally, I want to feel like I have a genuine seat at the table where my views and my ideas are respected by those that I work with. This conference is designed to explore all of those ideas and more, and how each of us can personally make a commitment to developing a site and a culture in Raleigh that is one marked by a strong commitment to inclusion and diversity. I think of the teams I've been involved with over the years, and the very best ones have been the most diverse, the most diverse in background, the most diverse in skills, the most diverse in terms of the people and the representation on the team. And I reflect on that and conclude that ultimately it's about everyone feeling like their ideas can be shared and we can all benefit from the diversity of experience and background that makes us a very strong organization. So over the conference, I hope you take away a few specific ideas and things that you can bring back to your team. But I hope you take away one key thought. Together in Raleigh, we emerge. Thanks.